Hey guys, it's Grace. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're a little bit up close and personal because I'm filming something that I've been waiting to film for like the longest time. So, we're going to be testing Glossier makeup and I have literally been itching to try my products that I got for Christmas but I've saved them because I actually ordered some other products so that I would be able to do a full face of first impressions on the brand. I absolutely love like their aesthetic. It's a brand that like kind of just came out of the blue. Do you know what I mean? Like I'd never heard of it until like last year. So we're going to be testing it today and we're going to be seeing if it's kind of worth the hype because there is quite a lot of hype around this brand. Oh, I forgot to turn my lights on. That's better. So, we got a box of makeup from Glossier and Skincare for Christmas. And then I also went ahead and ordered the rest of the full face um, from Glossier. So, for my base, I'm actually going to be using the Glossier Priming Moisturiser. I'm presuming this is a primer. I don't know. But we're going to give it a go. And this was actually from the skincare set so i've got it came in this bag and i got the milky jelly cleanser which i still need to try um.com which i'm gonna be trying in this video in burgers. we can hear it's me singing yes i look a bit odd with this headband on but you're showing people how you do makeup or what i'm testing a brand got them for christmas yeah, we'll see. bye Ciao. Priming moisturizer. I'm quite excited. I love the packaging. So like aesthetically pleasing. I hate that phrase, but sometimes you just have to use it. The kind of consistency reminds me of the Too Faced coconut one, the coconutty one. Oh, my skin's gone really red now. Ew. Yeah. Giving me a nice base. I wouldn't say it's anything like you have to have this. Like I wouldn't say it's like going to be one of my holy grail products but it is a really really nice moisturizer and also it's a two-in-one so you get the best of both worlds Hannah Montana reference I'm gonna give the balm.com a little go because this has so many good reviews like everyone says this is like Glossier's best product and stuff so I'm looking forward to trying this it's called the balm.com um, which is a good name, I like that. I like it a lot. Would have been nice if it had like a scent to it or a flavour, but I think you do get that option on the website. That is such a moisturising, really nice lip balm, especially for this time of year, because I feel like your lips can get really dry, but this is your saviour. Okay, so I think it's time for us to go in with the base product. I know this whole brand is about um like more natural makeup so i'm not expecting anything like really super high coverage but obviously it needs to do something for my skin so i'm looking forward to trying this out this one is the perfecting skin tint um, and i got this in the shade medium because i've got my fake tan on okay so i like the packaging it's really cute it's very like compact and everything smooth over moisturized skin with fingertips oh it's very like runny um, this is going to be weird because I never usually like apply foundation or like stuff with my fingers and this it specifically says that you should So this is going to be weird. Oh, it's very runny. Let's just Blend. Oh my god, this is so weird. I've never ever blend my foundation with my hands before like ever already see like it looks like I've applied some kind of highlighter For how glowy it is. I am I'm digging it. I do like it but yeah, I do have like some spots around my chin area. So it would be nice if maybe it did give me a little bit of coverage. But I'm hoping maybe the concealer will do something as well. You guys don't even understand. I have been like literally every day I was like, oh, should I just try one of the products and just like pretend that I don't know what it's like. And then I was like, no, but you can't. Like it's been a daily struggle for me not to try out these products because i've just been so excited like glossier is just glossier it's just like i don't know it's not going streaky one bit which was one of my uh concerns that it would okay so my overall kind of like thoughts on this product are i do like it i'm definitely going to be using it on a day where i want 
something a little bit lighter coverage but if you're that kind of girl that likes a full coverage look if you want like for me it's still showing my spots which usually my foundation will, will slightly cover some of them up whereas this one hasn't but I'm not too worried about that like I don't mind if my spots are on show I just think whatever I really like how glowy it is it's very very pretty like the glow it literally looks like I've applied like some kind of highlighter and it definitely does not look cakey that is another thing that I love about it like it doesn't look one bit cakey and I hate when foundations look cakey so like it looks the same on camera that what it looks like in real life try to get a bit more coverage now out of the concealer this is their stretch concealer and it's actually a cream concealer I'm a little bit concerned about this because for me cream concealers can be really hard to blend they just really not look good on me so I'm hoping this can blend and stuff like, I really like the packaging it's very heavy really. like it feels really good quality so it looks like this let's uh oh oh it's very like smooth and I'm also gonna attempt to blend this out with my finger because I was pleasantly surprised by the way it worked when I blend my um foundation out I was not expecting that and it's actually given my spots a bit of coverage as well I am digging that concealer I really like that like I wouldn't use it with my I would only ever pair this with like a more natural finish foundational BB cream but it's definitely easy to blend out it's very creamy very like smooth well done Glossier I'm very impressed the next product I'm going to be using is going to be their powder just to like set some of it in place and I also got a brush as well. I think this is like the only brush they sell and it says weightless finishing powder. So yeah, let's give it a go. Ooh, funky packaging. Wow there. <laughs> I'm literally living for their aesthetic. It's so nice. Oh my god, I really like that brush. That looks so cute. So cute and it's like perfect for like the under eye area. I like that it's not like a really really light powder as well because flashback <laughs> flashback is literally my worst enemy i hate flashback so much and it always happens with every powder i use it's so annoying yeah i really like that as well it just it doesn't look like i've powdered but i can i can feel that it's been set in place which is always really good i like how natural it is doesn't look like i've put loads of kind of cake on and also, I think I'm going to be using that product like with my daily routine as well. Should I do eyebrows next or should I do blusher? What do I do? I think I'm going to go for eyebrows. Basically, I don't really have much eyebrows. And I know that this kind of like is meant to fill them in. But it's all the people that I see using it have like really thick brows. And they don't really need to do much to them. So I'm a bit nervous for this, but I've heard a lot of good things about this product. Oh, I am loving that packaging. I love that. It's so like slick. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go like sort my eyebrows out. But I think for this product, you need to have those naturally really thick eyebrows because, or maybe just use it on top of your eyebrows if you filled them in. Because for me, it just isn't working. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use any other products. I'm gonna try and take some of this and fill it in with my eyebrow brush. But as you can see, it's just gone up here. I just think you need those naturally really voluminous thick eyebrows to be able to use this product properly. I've just went and looked at myself in the mirror and I've kind of taken my words back. I don't mind it. I think it looks really, really like nat like it looks like my eyebrows are naturally quite like hairy. <laughs> However, I don't know why but it looks really weird on camera. I don't know if you guys are gonna see it and it's gonna look really weird, but out there in like the sunlight, because it's quite sunny today, it looked really nice, especially my skin. So I'm really, really like pleased with it right now. The only thing that's concerning me about this look is that there's no mascara, so like, am I gonna look a bit odd? 
I always wear mascara like if I'm going to school and I have to pick one makeup product to wear it's always mascara so that is what's kind of stressing me out a bit but we'll see at the end so the next product I am going to be using is going to be the cloud paint it's like a blush liquid blush I never really use liquid blushes I just don't have one what I do now so I'm looking forward to this but I'm a little bit scared as to you know how well it's going to blend out and stuff but I'm going to just take like the tiniest I'm really scared <laughs> Okay, I used, I'm not joking, I literally used the tiniest bit and it's already like really, really, really like, that is how much I've squirted out onto my hand, like the tiniest droplet. I took the teeniest bit on my finger and it's already like enough for me. Okay, I do like that. It's not my favourite out of all the products and I think if I was going to do an actual look, I would use... Um, the blusher however I don't think I would use it on like a day to day basis but I do really like it you definitely do need a blusher if you're going to use this look because there's no con there's no like contour or bronzer um, you need something you know just to add to your face so we have lips to do left to do and we also have um, highlight so I'm going to go in for highlight first Ooh. okay What's happened to it? Huh? I'm, that is really weird. Every review I've watched has like a little bit in the middle where you... I think mine's melted. Great. So now it's all like crumbly. Okay. Um, I don't know what has happened to this product. But there's hardly anything in there. Every review I've watched has... Every review I've watched has like a thing in the middle of it which I'm really confused about. It adds a really nice natural glow, which I like. Um, obviously, I don't really know if what's going on with the product. I don't know if it's meant to be like that. I don't know, maybe if I've left it too close to a radiator, but I don't think I did. I'm gonna be moving on to lips. I have two lip products. I have Generation G Sheer Matte Lipstick in the shade Light, and I also have their Gloss which I'm thinking I might use because Glossier are known for their gloss. This is a shade, the, 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 this is a shade like, and on the bottom it's like a pink colour, but then here it's like a red. Should I put this on? Ah. It adds like a really nice natural tint to the lips. That's really pretty. That's really pretty, I like that. But I don't think it really goes with the look. So I'm going to just take this off. Yeah, I really, really like that shade. I'm going to be trying their gloss, which I have very high expectations for. Because their whole brand is about gloss. That is so pretty. I love that packaging. I like that. That's very, very pretty. That is a really nice gloss. I really like that. My favourite products would have had to be the gloss, the concealer, and I like the powder a lot as well. The blush was very pretty. Yeah, I'm going to go show you in the sunlight because it's very nice. So this is what it kind of looks like in the sunlight. Very, very nice. It looks the exact same in, like, in the flesh as it does on the camera. So that's what I love about it. But I would only recommend it to you guys if you love like a no makeup makeup look. It's very pretty. It is really pretty, guys. It's, it's really nice. Like I would definitely wear this on a day where, I don't know, maybe I'm just on a day where I want to do this kind of look. But it is really nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and let me know down below. If you've tried Glossier, what are your thoughts on it? Like, are you going to try it? Are you not? Please subscribe if you're new here. I'm so close to 100k. I'm really excited. So, go click that little button. Yeah, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!